power ship arrives in Burbis to boost national grid. The 36-megawatt power ship, which recently arrived in Guyana, has made its way to Everton, Burbis, marking a significant step towards bolstering the national grid. Accompanied by officials from Car Powership International, the Turkish company responsible for leasing the vessel to the Guyana Power and Light GPL, the ship's arrival signals the beginning of crucial works slated to commence on Sunday. Preparatory activities, including the installation of transmission lines and driving piles, are already underway at the site. GPL's Burbis Zone Manager, Ravindra Jagnanan, outlined that the power ship is scheduled to be positioned on Sunday, initiating the connection process to the national grid. While this process is anticipated to span approximately two days, potential interruptions from persistent rain are a concern. Equipped with around 100 meters of cable, the power ship arrived primed for integration with GPL's transmission line structure. Jagnanen underscored the importance of adequate lighting at the Everton compound to ensure security. Having already paid a mobilization fee of 1 million US dollars, GPL is set to incur additional costs for monthly charter and maintenance as part of the leasing agreement with Urbicon Concessions Investments, WLL, UCI. This deal enables GPL to lease the power ship for a duration of two years. Expressing optimism about the initiative's potential benefits for the country, Osman Yalman, Executive Director of Operations at Car Powership, highlighted the power ship's capacity to provide 36 megawatts of electricity through its two entrances, each capable of generating 18.5 megawatts.